in fact, uh, today is uh, the third in the series of the uh, seminar that we have been organizing it. The first uh, seminar was on sustainable urban settlement. Then the second was on uh, actually bringing about environment awareness among the people in the name of building a green city on the green hills. And today, in this third series of seminar that we are organizing, we would like to focus on public health and sanitation. This is essentially because of the fact that, uh, like any other district towns in Manipur, Sarasangpur is also a, a new, newly created town. In fact, we discovered that this is not even a town. It is actually a conglomeration of villages put together, independently functioning uh, uh, by themselves. Then we also found that the uh, population of Trasanpur actually is uh, actually a, a shifting population or floating population. Many of them are coming from the villages. They have been physically walking in the villages, but once they come here, people are not actually exerting themselves. People have ideal physical life. In the process, you'll find many of the elderly people are having lifestyle diseases like uh, uh, diabetes and other things. And you'll find every day a number of people are dying from various uh, diseases and sicknesses, comparatively uh, compared to the population. Now, we would like to bring certain awareness among the people by engaging the experts in various fields, particularly in public health, so that uh, some kind of awareness is created because health is actually a matter of individual responsibility. If you fall sick, doctors will come and take care of you. But to keep yourself healthy, it is your responsibility, number one. Number two, secondly, the town, as I just mentioned, is without actually proper uh, uh, governance. When I say government, there is no municipal corporation or municipal council. The villages are functioning independently. So there are a lot of sanitation issues are involved in this. So we would like to bring uh, some consciousness to the people that apart from the government agency, which are very weak right now, people have to be aware about the need for sanitation in the family, individually, in the locality, and in the town as a whole. So this is the objective of today's uh, uh, seminar on the public health and services. Sir, uh, we have sent out about 250 invitations. Okay. These invita invitees are of different categories. Some of them are actually expert in the public health issues. Some of them are of the CSO organization. Some of them are church leaders. Even students of class 11 and 12, we are inviting them. So that there is a, a, actually, uh, whatever we call it, a mixing of ideas are coming out. And then we actually spread out this idea and bring about what could be the best for us in the years to come. That's why we are expecting that out of 250 invitees, at least half of them should be turning up today. As I said, uh, our actual uh, vision is uh, to make this Lamka, which locally we call it, uh, a better place to live for everybody. Now, uh, changes do not take place in a day. It takes a time. We are talking about a, a better roads, better roads, neat and clean streets. We, we, are, we are talking about the uh, 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 rivers and stream need to be cleaned up. We are talking about the planting of trees and flowers. And we are talking about artistic buildings to come up in the town area. All these things will take its own time. But in order to bring about these changes, Actually, you need to have an idea and a vision first. Okay. Then that will be followed by uh, the actual discussion okay. and creating of awareness. And then only the actual things will come. We do not know how long it will take. But if we don't talk today, then nothing will get, it's going to happen. To, if we talk today, then maybe in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, what we are talking will actually happen. This is the thing. Okay. So our point is that we must talk, discuss, and debate what could be done uh, about this town so that tomorrow ultimately it get realized. This is the way actually we are approaching that. It is not to happen in a day. It will take its own time. Better things actually take its own time. So we are hoping that maybe after 50 years, 100 years, 200 years, what we are dreaming of today will actually get realized in this town. This is our vision.